What's up everyone and welcome to another Vorpex video. Today we're going to be looking at Outlast. This one was relatively straightforward to get running. I didn't have to edit any files or anything like that. Vorpex's game optimizer set everything up. The only thing I had to mess with was the in-game Vorpex settings, which I'm going to bring up and show you is what I've managed to get so far. Okay, really the first thing I did to get the game running was start up my Oculus app, then Vorpex. And in Vorpex's settings, I chose the game settings optimizer for Outlast and click the optimized settings button. And I launched the game and it launched first time without any problems. I was reading online that you need to use the 32-bit EXE file to avoid some some problems with playing it in VR. I haven't tried the regular version, I've just tried the 32-bit version because I didn't want any problems while I was making the video. I'm using it with an Xbox pad, which is great for the extra help looking around, especially in VR games. Okay, so I'm going to open up my Vorpex in-game settings now with the delete key. You guys can just uh, pause the video as I'm showing you the settings and line them up to what I've got and hopefully that will get you a basic platform and where to start with the settings. I did spend about 10 minutes configuring this. Okay, now I've changed my display mode, you guys will be able to see my in-game Vorpex settings. You guys can just pause the video as I bring the settings up. Uh, match the settings to what I've got so far and that'll give you a good platform on where to start and then from there you can just adjust for your own comfort depending on you know how, what you like. So to open your settings press the delete key. I did have it on uh, 3D reconstruction geometry but there was some weird artifacts in it on the screen so I swapped that to Z adaptive and that got rid of them. Next I reduced the image zoom on this page to 0.90 next and the head tracking is 0 0.4 pretty easy to get going and you don't really need to you don't really need to adjust many settings if anything looks sort of like stretched or out of shape or anything that probably is a resolution issue so it, make sure it make sure you haven't went into your options menu in game and changed any of the graphics settings because when you hit save it's going to change your resolution from what Vorpex has overridden it too so just be, be aware of that it will make things stretch and give you a very strange view. I hope this video has helped you out guys and it's managed to get you a playable setting for this game in virtual reality. If it did, give me a like and drop me a comment below. I always love to know what's going on with everyone and if you have any special requests, do let me know and I'll try and get a video up for you ASAP. Make sure you subscribe as well because I'm working my way through a huge list of games for Vorpex to play in virtual reality. So there's some great stuff coming up. Peace out guys.